and welcome to my channel. Uh, today's tutorial is for a beanie hat. The one that I'm making today is to fit an adult. Um, I'm going to make it in a, a size that would fit an average man's head. I'm using two different hooks um, because we start with the band and I want the band to be stretchy enough um, so that it's got a little bit of give and then we move on to a, a 7 millimeter, and I'm using two strands of double knit yarn We start off with a chain of seven so we slip knot onto the hook The way that you normally would work a slip knot and then we work chain of seven so one two three four four, five, six and seven. So into the second chain from the hook I'm going to work a single crochet so it's into the loop, yarn over and pull through both. We're going to go into the next loop and work a single crochet into that one as well into the next one and the next so we've now got the chain two at the beginning it counts as the first stitch so we've got one two three four five and then we're going to work a single into the very last chain So your work will look like this. I'm going to work into just the front loop of each of the stitches and the first stitch of every row, each row is going to be exactly the same, is just a chain. And then flip over, we're going to work into just this front loop of the stitch and work a single crochet and then one into each of the next three again just working into the front loop and then the final stitch is going to go into the last stitch here which was the chain from the start row so just into the stitch pick up a loop yarn over and pull through both Flip over again and work a chain and then again into the front loop one, two, three and four and then don't forget the last stitch is going to go into the first stitch from the previous row. Flip over and again start with a chain one and then work the four singles into the front loops. One, two, three and four. The final stitch is going to go into the body of that first stitch from the previous row and you can see already that we've getting a, a ribbed effect by working into the front loop only. I'll do another couple more rows just so that you get the gist of the pattern. So we've chained one and we're now going to work the four singles, one, two, three and four and then the final stitch again is into the actual stitch from the previous row and that gives a nice straight edge on each side of the band so chain one and then again we're going to work the four front loop singles one two three and four and then the last stitch again will be into 
the stitch from the previous row. Just push the hook in, pick up a loop, yarn over and pull through to chain one and then again front loop singles one two oops make sure that you catch both of the strands of yarn if you're using the two strands of double knit one two three and four and then again the final stitch is going to go into the first stitch from the previous row so your work will look like this forming the ridges that give a, a ribbed effect so you need to carry on now working exactly the same until your band is the size that you're going to need it to go around um, the head I'm going to make mine to 22 inches and I'll meet you when I get to the end of the 22 inch. So when you've got your uh, band to the size that you need it, we need to have done an even number of rows because we're going to work two doubles onto the edge of the band. So I've just got a smaller swatch here just to show how to join the, um, the band together. So, this is only a small piece, but obviously yours is going to be much bigger. We then fold the work and we're going to just slip stitch, join the band together. So we're going to, we've got the loop on the hook and I'm going to go into the loop of the other side, pull the yarn through both loops on the hook and then go into the loop pick up a loop from the other side yarn over pull through all of the loops and we just do that all the way along that's three five and then the last one into that first stitch into the top and pick up the loop and then we're going to turn inside out as you can see we've got the ridge here and also the stitch here because each alternate row created a ridge so we need to slip stitch into the first stitch like so and then the first stitch of the new row is going to be three chain and that's going to count as the first double and then we're going to work into the ridged stitch and work a double and then into the next stitch and work a double and we're just going to do that all the way around working one I'm also catching the yarn under the stitches as I'm working them as well So we've in effect got a stitch in between the ridges and a stitch where the ridge goes as well on the band. So there's the one in between. Oops. And then one into where the ridge sits. And we're just going to do that all the way around and you'll have an equal number of stitches when you get round to the other side. So I'll leave you to carry on working the two doubles over each of the two rows all the way around and you'll end up with an even number of stitches. Once you get around to the other side 
we join I'll just undo that last stitch so that I can show you the join we're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of the three chain that we started the row with so we've now got our doubles that go all the way around working one into each row that we did for the band so one into the ridged row and one in between the two ridges so we're now going to change over to the seven millimeter hook we started off with an eight and that's so that the band has actually got quite a, a bit of stretch to it so we're now going to start on the body of the hat so the first row is going to be three chain and again that counts as the first double the second stitch is a front post double so if you're not familiar with that stitch I'll show you how it's done yarn over into the space between the stitches come back up behind the double from the previous row and pick up a loop yarn over through two and yarn over through two and that's going to create a, a ridge that's going to go all the way up the hat the next stitch is going to be a straightforward double and then the next stitch again is going to be a front post double that goes around the front of the double from the previous row we're going to do that all the way around working a standard double and then a front post double a standard double followed by the front post double be careful once you've done the normal double not to do the front post around the same stitch so double and then the front post double double front post double this is why we need an equal number uh, sorry an even number of stitches because we want it to work as an alternate stitch that we've got the normal double followed by the front post double And again, make sure that you catch both loops if you're working with two strands. This pattern would work with a, a regular chunky yarn if you don't want to use the two strands of double. You would just use the same hook size and the size will come out the same as well. when the hat's finished it it's quite a warm hat um, and the chunky yarn does help or the double double knit does help to show the the ridges quite well so normal and the front post A double followed by a front post double and you just carry on all the way around 
until we get to the start here where we're going to just slip stitch into that third chain. I will just count my stitches when I get to the end. I believe it was 56, but I'll just count them just to be absolutely sure, to give you an idea of how many stitches or how many rows you would need to do on the band. But you can make this slightly bigger, slightly smaller to fit um, whoever you're making the hat for as we don't always come with standard size heads. And the band does need to stretch slightly, so whatever the, the measurement um, you get for the head, you would need to um, just make sure that when you've completed the band that there is a little bit of a stretch to it as well. And then if we've counted right, we should have the front post double, followed by a double, and then the last stitch before the three chain will be the front post. So I will just count those. We've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, sorry it was 52, so I've got 52 stitches on this particular hat. We're now going to join with a slip stitch into the top of the three chain and we're ready to start the next row. So the first stitch again is going to be the three chain which counts as the first double and you can see that the next stitch is going to be the front post stitch so it's a front post stitch, a front post double around the front post from the previous row and then we're going to do a double into the double. And we're just going to carry on the same way all the way around, working the alternate stitches, a front post double followed by a double and we're just working the same stitch into the previous row. So if we've got a front post we do the front post double, if it's a normal double again we're just going to work the normal double, we just carry on all the way around. So each row is going to be exactly the same, working alternate stitches. So if you want to carry on working exactly the same, each row starts with the three chain. The first stitch after the three chain is going to be a front post double followed by a double front post double, double, front post double and so on. And we always join at the end into the top of the three chain here and start again with the next row which is going to be three chain. I've now completed six rows of the pattern row. I'm just going to join into the three chain starting stitch with the slip stitch. I just want to make a a point here that if you want your hat to have a turn up brim to have that effect on the hat you would need to do a further four rows at this point I'm just going to do it as a pull on beanie so I will stop at the six rows of the pattern to start the decrease we're now going to work two stitches together as we go around the um, the hat. So instead of doing the three chain to start we're only going to work two chain 
and then we're going to go straight in to the front post double and work half of the front post double so we've yarn over we've gone behind the loop we've picked up a loop we've got four loops on the hook we're going to go through two and then we're going to go through the two together so we've actually joined the chain stitch and the first double crochet um, the front post double crochet so the next row we're going to do half of the double which is yarn over pull through once we're not going to yarn over and pull through again we're going to go straight to the front post double pick up a loop yarn over pull through two we've now got three loops on the hook we're going to yarn over and pull through all three so we've now worked the next two stitches together going to do exactly the same all the way around so into the stitch pick up a loop yarn over but we're only going to pull through two we go straight onto the front post double where we go round the back pick up a loop yarn over and just pull through two and then we're going to yarn over and pull through all three so into the stitch pick up a loop yarn over through two yarn over do the front post double pick up a loop yarn over through two and then we're going to yarn over through the three and we're going to carry on working the same all the way around working the two stitches together working the two stitches together all the way around I've just come to the last two stitches here where again into the loop pick up a loop yarn over through two yarn over and behind the stitch for the front post yarn over through two and then yarn over through the three we're going to join now into the top of the joined stitches that we did at the beginning of the row so we're just going to slip stitch here we're now going to slip stitch around the front post of this front post stitch here and we're going to work again two chain we're now going to go straight over to the front post stitch from the previous row and pick up the stitch yarn over through two and yarn over through two that starts the next working the two stitches together so once you've done the first one with the chain two we're now going to go to the next front post stitch pick up a loop yarn over and through two stitches we're going to yarn over into the next front post stitch pick up a loop yarn over and through two stitches we've got three stitches on the hook we're going to yarn over and pull through all three so we're now doing the front post double crochet two together we're going to do that all the way around so around so we're skipping the double from the previous row we're going to the back of the first front post and just doing the half of the stitch yarn over into the next front post pick up a loop yarn over through two leaving three stitches on the hook again we're going to pull through all three so yarn over into the next front post pick up a loop yarn over through just two yarn over into the next front post stitch pick up a loop yarn over through two leaving the three again on the hook yarn over and through all three together so just carry on all the way around doing exactly the same working a front post double two together until we get to the end of this row we, we reach the end of the row and we've worked the front post two togethers 
all the way around you'll see that they've formed into little upside down V shapes and we're going to join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. On this next row we can see now that we've got little upside down V's where we've crocheted each of the two stitches together. On this first one we're just going to work two chain that's going to count as the first front post half double and then we're going to go across and go behind the two stitches that we worked together here. So your yarn needs to go behind both, pick up a loop, yarn over through two and then yarn over through two. Then we're going to work these next two double crochet together, we're going to crochet those together as well. So yarn over behind the two, pick up a loop, yarn over through two, yarn over behind the two stitches, pick up a loop, yarn over through two, we've got three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three. I'm going to carry on all the way around working the next two double crochet togethers, we're going to crochet those together. So yarn over through two to the next two together behind both stitches, yarn over through two and then yarn over and pull through the three loops. You're actually working with a much smaller space now so it's a little bit trickier than before. So behind the two stitches pick up a loop, yarn over and pull through two yarn over behind the two stitches, pick up a loop, yarn over through two, then we're going to yarn over and pull through all three, yarn over behind the two stitches, pick up a loop, yarn over through two, yarn over behind the stitches, yarn over through two and then pull through all three, yarn over behind the two stitches, pick up a loop through two, yarn over behind the two stitches, pick up a loop through two and then yarn over and through three. Yarn over behind the two stitches, pick up a loop yarn over through two and then the final one we're going to go yarn over pick up a loop yarn over through two yarn over and pull through all three so we've now come to the top of the hat I'm going to join with a slip stitch into the first stitch that we formed, pull the loop through, leave a longer thread of yarn and snip off, pull through the loop and pull tight. We've now got a little hole here at the top of the hat and what I would do is to put that through to the wrong side, turn the hat inside out and then just catch with a needle just using a, a normal yarn needle just thread through and where you can see we've got the hole here just go around and catch two loops of each stitch And then again over the first one and pull tight and that's actually pulled the hat in so that we've not got a hole and then I'll just work in the yarn 
so that we don't come undone. And I usually work it one way and then I'll take it back the other way to be sure that it doesn't come unravelled before I snip off and fasten off the yarn. I always then do an extra stitch, pull the yarn through and fasten off again. So there we've got the hats all closed off at the top and we've got the hat there completed. If you want your hat to be a little bit deeper you can do more than the six rows from the band that's not including the first row that we did that were just normal double crochets I did six rows of the pattern repeat but you could do seven or eight if you wanted the hat to be a deeper hat I do hope you've enjoyed this tutorial thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon bye